I've been watching a lot of videos about the novel coronavirus out of Wuhan and yeah there's a lot of weird misinformation mixed in with a lot of them even from people which you know normally speaking are you know good fun lessons but can be a little bit misleading shall we say um case in point sticks hex and hammer i watch it it's a contrary viewpoint to my own i watch it just to kind of calibrate my political compass and yeah i enjoy his content but when it comes to uh, the coronavirus I'm not entirely sure I go along with everything. Prepping, absolutely. Get yourself some non-perishable goods. Go out before there's a panic. Get your mask, get your gloves, get something to sanitize your hands. That's all sensible. Have a first aid kit. Nothing more than that. You don't need to buy crates of stuff. You're not trying to survive a zombie apocalypse or a nuclear winter. You're trying to wait out a week or two while there's a quarantine in your area, potentially. And that would be about the most you would want to do. And certainly in a country where that isn't even a confirmed case yet, you'd be mad to do anything more than that. But where I really strongly disagree with him is this thing, he's kind of crop dusting a conspiracy theory. He's not quite coming out and saying, I believe this, but he's kind of coming down just hinting at it, just coming down just to the nape of the earth, dropping, you know, a little spray of conspiracy men zooming off. Now, this is the, it's a bioweapon, it's been released from their level four lab they've got there. I find this very unlikely because with a bioweapon, you either have the aerial denial, the kind of biological mustard gas, things like anthrax, for example, you expose an area to it, it becomes useless. So you could use it for a kind of terrorist, terrorists would love it, poison a load of land and make it unusable by the infidel, yeah, it'd be fine. But in terms of the state, yeah, you'd use it in warfare, but it, at the same time, it, it's harder to control and why not just use mustard gas? Yeah, you have to wear a suit. Well, you have to wear a suit. If you've got biological agents out there, the same thing would protect you from both, but the chemical agent is much more controllable. It doesn't go elsewhere and mutate and so forth. So. That's one reason why biological weapons haven't been widely employed. It's not so much because people are like morally opposed to them. It's just they're not very good. A nuclear bomb at least doesn't breed more nuclear bombs. I mean, well, obviously you can have proliferation and stuff like that, but that's human agency in there. Now with um, the other style of biological agent, we infect everyone and cause as many fatalities make people ill, soften up the enemy basically. Yeah, but that requires a sort of war which is against an opponent which can't one fight back. You have to have the right treatments in place beforehand otherwise it can come back and bite you. I always sort of think of biological agents a bit like having a snake whip. Now it looks cool, it would be great in RPG, it would look fantastic in computer graphics, but in practicality you crack your whip, you're going to get bitten yourself, even if you do strike your opponent. It's just not a very sensible weaponry system. There's better ways of doing it. Um, besides which, China seems rather more focused upon trade and a little bit of um, argy-bargy in the local area, but these are all against like third tier powers. China can easily kind of push them around. It's getting a lot of concessions in the South China Sea. I can't see them actually employing a biological agent really at all. It's, it just doesn't seem to actually make sense logistically. Um, after all, if you kind of release these things, there's a chance you'll be caught plus the fact a lot of genetic engineering techniques leave fingerprints in a genome. Therefore, it would be obvious that it had been engineered. I'm sure there are techniques which can obscure that, but I just don't see it. It just doesn't seem like a, an agent which you could like say, oh, we've created a flu, which is about five times worse than regular flu. Are you Eureka? Ha ha. No, it just doesn't wash really with me. As far as what I think, is going to go on with the novel coronavirus. Well, you're certainly going to see tens of thousands to possibly a hundred thousand in China within the next fortnight. That's if it's contained. You'll start to see it um, come down. Um, they started to take effective measures about the 21st of January, 
by the 26th they had really draconian measures so given a 10 day lag from that as you've got an incubation around that time you're going to start to see the effect in the next day or so and a, a week or so after that you'll see if the draconian measures have really reduced the rate of um, transmission whether they've succeeded i don't know you're getting many more cases outside the hebei region so therefore it doesn't look good and you're getting lots and lots of infections sporadically all over the world including ones in places like india and potentially also in various countries in africa in poorer countries very dense populations sometimes compromise themselves and certainly without the you know logistical depth um, that china has i really can't see them controlling an epidemic if it starts and potentially you could have china actually succeeding in controlling it in china but it then having a secondary sort of epidemic explosion say in east africa we just won't know probably in about two weeks we'll have a better handle on that but it's really really hard to tell i mean at the moment the um who is having a big meeting in Geneva, it's probably finished and it'll come out in press in a few hours. But, you know, it could well be declared a global health emergency, but practically that doesn't really change much other than the label and, you know, freeing up some funding streams. But a lot of people are working very hard on it. I've noticed that, you know, the media is now trying to convince people to calm down. And I think if it was something mild, they'd probably be slightly more on the oh panic 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 it's fun give us ratings whereas when they actually start to calm down you start to go oh no it's actually serious and people are actually trying to mm, responsibly control uh, the narrative a little bit towards uh, lack of panic because panic after all will really inhibit the ability to tattle, tackle this um, china isn't wrong in trying to control information on that i think it's counterproductive i mean ultimately an informed populace is probably better protected than a controlled um, narrative leading to people having incomplete information and therefore not being able to act independently. Directing, you know, over a billion people from the top is kind of a chancy proposition. Anyway, we'll see how that works, but uh, yeah, that's kind of my very rough prediction. You're gonna see a lot of new cases and hopefully they're just be in China. Okay, wish you well, and uh, don't forget to pick up some very light prepping materials. Don't go nuts, don't buy boxes of stuff, it's not that kind of deal. Uh, just buy enough for a week, and then kind of leave it in a box in your garage and forget about it, and try not to worry, and look after your health generally. That's about all you can do, and get yeah, good hygiene. Okay, well...